Hi there, Gemini, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the month of December 2022. So here we are um, with the monthly format, um, a little bit different from the weekly one, but we'll start with your overall energy and then we break it down week by week. So your overall energy is the Pisces energy, the moon in the upright position. Now, the, when the moon is... Um, there especially as uh, central energy you might need to be a little bit cautious this month Gemini because of the fact that there could be some illusions or misunderstandings around you this month now this could be anything from you know especially when mercury goes retrograde the misunderstandings tend to run rapid um, there could be some misunderstandings around your, your home your business your finance your friend your community um, romantic relationships, you name it. So, because these are general reads, just take what makes sense in your scenario. And don't forget to leave us a comment in the comment section below. But yes, the uh, uh, Neptunian energy here in the moon, it can sometimes come up when we are either perhaps not understanding a situation fully or completely. Um, when sometimes it's uh, deception purposely, you know, being perpetrated by someone else towards you. Other times the moon can represent self-deception. So just be careful of those types of scenarios this month. Now in week one, you have the six of wands rooted down by Major Arcana the Fool. So you start off the month strong here, um, Gemini. The Six of Wands is the victory card. It's the pats on the back, work well done. If you're traveling somewhere, especially perhaps if you're going home or going around a group of people, perhaps for the holidays or something, you will be well received. There's lots of attention being bestowed upon you. Uh, you could be encountering some type of completion of something which brings a nice victory towards you. And especially with the Fool rooting it down, the Fool is all about new adventures, ready to take a chance again. So some of you could be completing something that was very successful and now it's ready you're ready to move on to the next it's very gemini like <laughs> gemini's don't uh, sit around and wait once they've completed something it's like they're on to the next adventure the next um, challenge what have you so for some of you you could be looking at uh, having an opportunity of uh, taking a leap of faith and if i know gemini's you probably will take it <laughs> whether it be a romantic leap of faith whether it be you know financial career-wise what have you You'll be taking that leap of faith. In weeks two, we have Major Arcana of the Tower in the upright position, rooted down by the Eight of Cups upright. So the Tower in the upright position can point to a shocking event, something that comes out of the blue, something we didn't see coming at all. Um, it can be the complete and total destruction of uh, something that has happened. Now, say, for example, in week one, you've completed something, right? And you're ready to move on to something new. So it could be that that new thing that you're ready to jump into, remember the moon is the overall energy here. So be careful with uh, jumping right in because maybe take your time, uh, take a break and be careful with that just because of the fact that if um, the thing you're moving into, perhaps somebody around you is not being completely honest about what they're getting you into Gemini so be careful with that energy because it can um, all of a sudden you know completely um, <laughs> go array uh, for others of you it could just be representing shocking news coming out maybe it's about something else completely uh, especially with the eight of cups there this is about walking away trying to find some em emotional happiness somewhere um, else this is about moving trying you know going on that journey towards finding the nine of cups energy so this is about where we're aware of the fact that we have a lot of love from the people around us and so forth but something is missing we need to go find that emotional happiness somewhere it could be for some of you if you're single maybe this is about searching for uh, a new partner a new relationship for others of you it could be about finding that happiness with a group of people maybe or a hobby or something that you did just with the tower being here be a little bit cautious in week two uh, Gemini 
especially with the moon being here as the overall energy. I wouldn't be as concerned because sometimes it could just be a case of, well, somebody, you know, perhaps that you were dating and um, it wasn't a serious relationship, but something came out about them and it's like, okay, I'm moving on. It could just be something small, you know, on the smaller scale. But with the moon being here, it could be that somebody has been... Um, you know, purposely deceiving you for whatever reason. So just, just be cautious in week two with that. Now, week three, as we move forward, we have the beautiful Ten of Pentacles in the upright with the Ace of Wands rooting it down. Now, this is the week of Christmas, uh, if you celebrate that. So the Ten of Pentacles is beautiful energy. This can pop up when we're getting some unexpected uh, bonus where it could sometimes be, um, say, for example, we just got a raise or a bonus perhaps from work or um, perhaps one of our, like our siblings or somebody in the family has, you know, achieved some type of uh, financial success, could be contributing to the, you know, family in a financial way. For others of you, this could represent uh, securing some type of stability. It could be a home or things like that. It could be, um, for others of you, an inheritance, extra money coming your way that, you know, perhaps this is like, oh, perfect time. Like, come on, third week of December, that is the perfect time to uh, receive a beautiful bonus. The Ace of uh, Wands in the upright position can point to again new starts it's something new uh, this could be a brand new idea that comes um, uh, out of the anti-cosmos for you in terms of travel or in terms of business and enterprise which is what the wands represent this is about moving moving uh, swiftly and quickly towards some new passion for some of you it could be a passionate new relationship because you are on the hunt in week two for something fulfilling but this is not the ace of cups this is the ace of wands which is more about passion excitement it could be travel it could be business the Ace of Wands can sometimes represent a new business opportunity. Maybe for some of you, you've uh, recently got some extra cash and now you want to invest it. You could have a good idea as to how and where to um, invest this money. For others of you, you could be uh, using that extra money maybe to, um, you know, fund a trip or something like that. In the last week, we have the two, you have two twos, the two of pentacles and the two of swords in the upright. Well, or no, this is the two of wands in the upright. So this is, uh, two of pentacles is good. It's the juggling um, energy. This is where we're, you know, juggling two different things. Um, could be, you know, relationships. Sometimes if you're single and you're dating two different people, uh, but it's going smoothly. I like the two of pentacles is very balanced energy. So it could be that there's that going on. It could be that, uh, perhaps some of you have taken on a second job, whatever it is you're doing, maybe you're bringing in extra cash some way and you're balancing everything out, balancing out your, uh, finances, um, whatever it's, it's harmony in the midst of change. So whatever's going on, some of you could be moving from one career, one job into another one. You could be moving homes, uh, whatever is going on, but whatever is happening, you are are definitely uh, finding harmony in that you're balancing Gemini is very good because of the dual nature of Gemini very good at balancing things out and then the last card you have here is the uh, two of wands this is about taking the initial <laughs> ace of wands here right and now starting to make progress with it very quickly. So whatever this idea is, sometimes the Ace of Wands can represent a passionate new relationship, perhaps somebody you just met, and it could be it could be growing really fast between the two of you. Maybe, you know, you're going from that level to the next level. Things are progressing really quickly. For others of you, if this is a business idea, this could be putting it, like implementing it right away, putting it into action. So we see in the beginning, you know, you want to have that new adventure. Maybe that wasn't the right adventure at the beginning of the month, but it looks like whatever's going on here, this new beginning here that starts in week three, is definitely the charm because this is the one that you're moving forward on because this is the last week of December, the last week of the year. So you're balancing everything out and um, yeah, you're just making it work, Gemini. <laughs> 
what a great way to end the month and the year for you now as always in closing i pull two cards from the zodiac deck one is for um uh, love and romance and the second is for career and finance first one for love and romance for gemini we have leo compassion number 29 so it could be that leo is uh the love interest here we do see wand energy it can be fire energy uh for some of you something significant happens when the moon is in leo uh in your uh, love life and there's lots of compassion there or it could be on the 29th of the month because it is towards the end of the month where we start to see this uh, passionate new energy popping up <laughs> So, it could be a Leo that introduces you to someone who becomes, or is, you know, prominent. Maybe you go to a Leo's house for a party and then, you know, you meet somebody there. So, the second one is for career and uh, finance. We have number seven, Harmony Libra. So, it could be uh, through a Libra, there is a um, financial or, yeah, financial dealings. It could be about or through or from a Libra. It could also be that uh, something significant happens with your career and finance when the moon is in Libra in that month. So, that's what I have for you, my dear Geminis. For those of you who do celebrate the holidays, I want to wish you a very uh, Merry Christmas and the happiest of New Year's. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a fabulous month. Don't forget to leave that comment down below. And I hope the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.